Well, as I said earlier, Pastor Fraser is in the back um, teaching our Discovering Us class, and we have um, a wonderful privilege. One of the great things about Cucamonga Christian Fellowship is God has really blessed us with a multitude of people who are excellent um, teachers and preachers and sharers of the word. And this morning, um, Laura Kramer is going to come and bring the word. About seven years ago, uh, Pastor Fraser was doing a... uh, sermon series on the 23rd Psalm that really captured Laura's heart, and God really began to speak to her, and from that sermon series was birthed a beautiful uh, Psalm 23 bracelet, which many of you may have seen or may have, actually, uh, that then turned into a business that then opened doors of opportunity for Laura to go all over the country and speak, and her bracelets have gone over all over the world and have inspired and encouraged people um, everywhere. And from that, God has just continued to grow and nurture Laura and give her a story that I think is going, that I know is going to be relevant, is going to bless you this morning. So would you join me in welcoming Laura Kramer? Thanks. Good morning. It's good to be here again. I'm here every Sunday. It's great to be here again, to be with all of you. Um, Thank you, Pastor Kelly. Uh, I guess it would seem pretty predictable, wouldn't it, since I designed a bracelet called the Psalm 23 bracelet that I would come to you and share with you about Psalm 23. Wow, that's just brilliant. It's so predictable. But you know what? It's not. Um, Pastor Kelly shared great things about the great adventure and the season that God put us into seven years ago. But I will be honest with you, uh, I haven't had such a great relationship with Psalm 23. I really haven't. Um, Seven years ago, I was pregnant with my first child. Gerhardt was working full time. Uh, When the business birthed, we didn't know it was going to birth. We didn't know there was a birthing involved. (laughs) We we just had an idea. We kind of put it out at a street fair, put some out, and all of a sudden we saw environments change when people would stop at our booth and read the scripture. Stories would come out of them of what Psalm 23 meant to them. It was crazy. We had no idea what we were getting into. We had no idea what God's plans were for us. So with the birth of my baby, we also birthed our business. Um, Great stuff, but I have to tell you, and I think you know too, to every great, exciting story, there's always an inside story. There's always a story that what's going on on the other side. And for me, um, I had built up bitterness and resentment towards Psalm 23. Now that might seem strange, but when Psalm 23 comes in and takes over your life, in every way, yeah, there's some resentment that comes up. Um, I'm just going to get a little vulnerable with you. That'll happen throughout the morning if you're okay with that. Um, That's kind of a unique calling that God's calling me to is to be vulnerable with others. So um, the resentment came from a place of that Psalm 23 robbed me of my time with my new baby. It robbed me of my husband's attention. And it robbed me of my money. And so there was resentment. So as much as people were loving and being ministered to by and everything else, I, on the other hand, was having uh, a great resentment of all the things that I was being robbed of. So last year, no, last year, a few months ago, a few months ago, I was going through the prayer of uh, that dangerous prayer that we pray. God, more of you and less of me. It's a dangerous prayer. Dangerous prayer. More of you, less of me. That just gives God permission to come in and start stripping things away. And you know what? God comes in and starts doing stuff. It's a little painful. So I was asking for it, (laughs) because I really did. And he was coming in, and I was having some hurts and some pains and some wounds that were going on. And God came in very clearly and said, I want to minister to you. I want to comfort you. Good God, I need that. Okay, go to Psalm 23. No. I just said no. In fact, I don't think I actually answered him. I think I just disregarded him. I think I just turned the other way and said, I'm going to do my own thing here. Still hurting, still in pain, all this kind of bit. No, I want you to go to Psalm 23. I heard you, Lord. I'm ignoring you right now. It really wasn't that comical in real life, but it sounds fun right now. 
But it was a painful time. And I said, God, you should know better. Look at all the things that Psalm 23 has robbed me of. You are surely not going to come and minister to me through this passage. Oh, yes, I will. And he did. I finally yielded to God. And I, I opened up and I read Psalm 23. And God just started ministering to me in new ways, comforting me in ways that I didn't know I could be comforted, revealing new things about himself that I had never touched on before. It was phenomenal. It was a marker moment for me in my life. Marker moment. And so I want to pray and declare over each of you this morning that this morning be a marker moment in each of your lives and your journeys with God. A marker moment that God has much he wants to reveal to you.